what is up everybody it's the inhuman one here with part two of the torch only run uh so we're going to pick up right where we left off we're at the draconic tree sentinel and what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna see exactly how high i can upgrade my weapon at this point in time i think it's probably like plus three maybe plus four if i'm lucky but i can't imagine that it's very strong it's plus eight never mind eh. My mem if memory serves, I guess it doesn't serve very well then, huh? Okay, cool. So, we're actually pretty high up on the uh, the weapon upgrades, which is fantastic. But what I want to do is I want to further increase that, actually. So, before I face off with the Draconic Tree Sentinel, I would like to see if I can potentially increase the weapon or the, you know, the power of my weapon even more. Um, I do believe the sealed tunnel would possibly be on this side or over here. I think it's here if I recall correctly. So we're probably going to head that way in just a moment. But just for the sake of warming up, let's go ahead and face off with the Draconic True Sentinel just so we can see what we're up against. The purpose of this run is for me to beat the game using only a torch as my weapon. Any of the torches will suffice. Alright, so yeah, it's going to be tough. But um, we're going to do everything we can to make it work though. We do have at least a decent health pool if I can remember which one is my flask and which one's my wondrous physic so I, I popped my wondrous physic um, thinking that uh, that was my flask so my bad half asleep just warm it up it's gonna be fine now I, I do need to look at something I think I have the strength knot and something else um, on my wondrous physic I would like to see if I could get some Maybe some uh, spiked tea or anything like that. I don't know exactly what I have. Let's see. Strength Knot and Crimson Crystal Tear. So which tiers do I have available? Enhances Charged Attack. So Spiked Crack Tear is not bad. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna be in really good shape actually. So let me just try one or two more times. That way we'll go back and we'll get loose, get ready to fight. We are gonna have to fight a boss anyway, an Alabaster Lord specifically. That does have an AoE to it, gotta be careful. And I, I, I kind of opted to not go for the parry route, because that's just not really my style. I love the parries, I think they're great, but for a torch only guy, probably gonna have to try something different. There are plenty of heals, it's just a matter of us getting killed in one hit. That AoE is massive. Nice. Dodge that narrowly. So we have a plus 8 beast repellent torch, and it does scale with, uh, C scale with strength, so it's not terrible. Nice. We also have the blue dancer charm and a light loadout, so we're doing as much bonus damage as possible. Dodge forward. Man, I'm timing that so poorly. Yeah, he has that variant where he spews the fire right at his feet, and that is the worst. I don't like that variant at all. Nice. Yeah, so that's going to be a direct hit to the face. Dead. Okay, I got heal points. That's fine. <clears throat> I get it. I get it. All right, let's go po uh, increase the power of our weapon even further. Uh, I'm gonna just go to the last side of the grace. I don't really much mind. I can get there pretty quickly. I don't know where this will take me. Probably to the merchant. Um, and even that's too far. So we're gonna go to this area. We're gonna go down into the moat type area, and we can go ahead and. Well, the, that's not t technically called the moat, because the moat is actually this right here for some reason. The outer moat. But this is, for all intents and purposes, a moat for this kind of castle area. So anyways, we're here at the outer wall phantom tree. We're going to head down to this cave. Another thing I'd like to make sure is, did I use all of my... I didn't. Okay. 
I didn't increase all of my charges, so I can get an extra flask, I think, before it in before the cost jumps up to three golden seeds. Ah, uh, I don't have enough yet. Okay, never mind. It is now three golden seeds. Okay, so. There is a golden seed over there I could get, though. There's an ulcerated tree spirit that I can definitely take out if I need to, to get an extra char uh, flask charge. But let's come down here. What's up, sunshine? How you doing? Hope you're having a great day. I'm doing a torch-only run right now in Elden Ring, so I'm just kind of taking it slow and casual, just figuring out the best route. I'm at uh, Lanedale already, so I've defeated Margit, Godric, uh, the Red Wolf of Radigan, and Renala with a torch. And now I'm working on uh, trying to take out the next best thing, which is... Um, the Draconic Tree Sentinel. That's the way inside the capital itself. So that's what I'm going for. Let's see. Is this the path? It is not. I'm going the opposite way. So we're going to go over here next to my marker. Go into the sealed tunnel. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, beat this area so we can get the Smithing Stone Bell Bearing or whatever. The Smithing Stone Miner's Bell Bearing. And that will allow us to purchase infinite amount of rocks, or uh, smithing stones, three and four, I believe. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. I just started the run, so I'm still waking up, still warming up. So I hope that this boss fight goes well, but we'll see. Alright, so this, this seal tunnel has tons of illusory walls. They're all pretty much at the end of the area, so it's actually not very difficult. I am going to run through a lot of this area. There should be a little crazy dude around here. I should have got him first. This little bastard right here. Come here, you little guy. There you go. We'll go ahead and grab the contents of this chest. And many would actually just stop here. And uh, I guess I will too. Because I didn't realize that the, the bell bearing was right there. I completely forgot about that. And the funny thing is now I remember saying like, Oh man, that'll be great for a challenge run. It being right there. We don't have to face off with the boss. If you do actually fight the boss, um, the important thing about that is you could activate some runes, but I don't think runes are going to be very important in this run, to be honest. I already have Godrix, which I feel is probably one of the most important or most beneficial. Let's see if we can kill some of these land squirts. I do need some runes. Wow, these have a lot of health. <laughs> you guys have too much health. A hundred runes for that? Yikes. Okay, that's terrible. That is too slow. Um, that's not going to cut it. That's not going to cut it. We do have the bell bearing, though, which is the reason why we came here. Let's see if just we can get lucky and hit this uh, teardrop scarab in the face. Dang it. I missed. Not that we need ashes of war. Not for a torch, anyway. That thing is very smooth, very very fast. Alright, so there should be an ulcerated tree spirit around here. I'm also going to go to this church as well. Um, just so we can get an extra sacred tier. The sacred tiers are still going to be very beneficial to us because this is not a level 1 challenge. This is simply a torch only challenge. So I can level up and I can increase my health. And I will do that repeatedly as you'll see. Um, so being able to heal our flask up fully will be very beneficial any church that i remember the location of from my first playthrough i will be visiting so that we can get the sacred tears there because that will further enhance the efficiency of our flask see those guys probably would be worth a ha handful of souls i might want to take those guys out let's see what we got what is this a missionary's cookbook which i, I probably won't be using the cookbooks much at all we can go ahead and tag this side of grace and then we should get a sacred tier here a golden order seal never mind that's right gosh this wasn't necessarily a full-blown church then was it a minor erd tree church it wasn't a church of america okay well i'll be damned i'll be damned okay so now that's fine we'll go here and I'm going to mark this area. There should be an ulcerated tree spirit. It's probably going to be pretty difficult, actually, to kill this thing. Um, thank you. I'm going to see about equipping a shield. I'll be a medium load if I equip that. 
Hmm, that sucks. Okay, nope, not gonna kill that thing then. That's gonna be a little bit too costly. Let's go back to the round table hold or the table of lost grace, as the map calls it. And we're gonna give the uh, the twin maidens this bell bearing that we got, and it should open up a few things for us. So now we have already a ton of different characters here at the uh, round table hold. We're gonna offer the smithing miner's bell bearing too. And now we should be able to purchase even more stones. So now we have the threes and fours available to us. I'm just curious to see what amount of stones and what level of stones I need to level up. So we're going to go talk with Hugh really quickly. And we got all these people here. I wonder if she's already spirit tuning. I do suppose if I'll ask Master Hugh. Let's go talk to Hugh and make sure he teaches you how to spirit tune. Not that we'll ever use it, but... Well, Just in case. I took you for dinner, Master Ridley. How's your arm? Look at Plaid. Absurd. I refuse. I felt dead. Very good. So I need um six smithing stone threes. Okay. And then I'd need fours and fives, I think. Okay, so let me go purchase those. I can actually sell him some stuff, which is great. Not all merchants allow you to sell things, so. Uh, we'll sell some of this stuff. I, I, things I'll never use. Let's see here. I think I put up most of my armors and stuff already. I really won't be using any of these either. It wants me to hold at least one because I have it equipped, so that's fine. That's understandable. What is up? Ah, Keppa. Is this easy, Keppa? You just changed your name? I'm Confusion. Easy Keppa is no longer Easy Keppa. He's hard Keppa now. Hey, what are you doing here, Nefeli? Oh, yeah. I, thought you'd Nefeli Lou. I do need to speak with her because she's going to give me the arsenal charm. Thank you, love. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and exhaust your dialogue. If you haven't already, father, I'm sure talk. Yeah, your father's a jerk. I don't really like your father. He is quite... A jerk. Hype indeed. Alright, so let's go ahead and purchase some stones. I need six of these bad boys. Six threes. Hmm. That'll get me up to nine. Okay, so. Yes. Then I'm going to need some fours. Let's see if that does the trick. I don't know. Um, again, I'm probably going to need more runes now. There's Gideon Offnir, the all-knowing, allegedly. There's D, uh, our boy Corin. Sorcerer Roger should be up here. Yep. Okay, everybody's still alive. <laughs> A pleasant surprise. Even Fia. I would like to at least progress the quest lines. I th think I already got the Baldekin's blessing and stuff. Let me see here. Let her hold us. That's fine. I do want to make sure that I'm progressing the quest lines. At some point, we should get uh, the news of the Black Knife Catacombs, and we should get the knife you print. So an idea. Might I? Could you please find the weather dagger. Okay, she's already asking for that. It's a very precious so I would like for the I'd like you to Once you reach Altus Plateau, she pretty much already progresses to that portion of it there where she asks you to find the owner of the weather dagger, which is of course none other than D. Um I am curious, did she not ever give me the knife print? I know why she didn't. Okay, so before I actually give the weather dagger, there's a few other things I should probably do. So I can progress Sorcerer Rogier's part of his quest line. 
Um, hmm. If I speak to him, he should act as if nothing special has happened. Let's Always see. Here. What do you need? Uh, so we're talking about D. That's us. fine. That's good. But it's not quite what we need here. As long as who and we may be able to only I could send if they were liked. He pretty much mentions that they were once old pals, old chums, these two. I can talk to all the more. Ooh, I don't want to give it just yet. I will not give you the weather dagger just yet, my friend. Okay. Got so distracted. Let's go back to Master Hugh then. Back already. I need to go look at the blood stain over in the Stormvale Castle. That's what I need to do. All right, so what? Now it says I need seven. Oh no, I have seven, but it needs six. Okay, so I need to sell something else here. Hmm. I don't even know if I could use that. I'm curious. Very curious about this one. Hmm. I don't want to just sell my stuff either. I mean, I, you know, I don't see a, a point in doing that. I'll come back when I'm richer. I could always kill um, Mad Tongue Albrecht. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Get some runes here. I am at a rune deficit. We'll get a free gesture too if we let him actually gesture here. What's up, friend? Gesture acquired, okay. Nice, you can make me bleed, I forgot. Oh, goodness gracious me. Too slow, buddy. Those will never hit me. Oh, he's got poise. He's got that good poise. Whew. Jumping attacks are not very good against him because he's very quick, actually. You can actually get his armor, too, from the old round table, which is really awesome. Really, bro? What are you spamming all your magic on me? He can flask, and he will. As if on cue, he flasked, which is fine, because now he can only do it the one time, so now we know that damage we deal is permanent. The reason why I'm doing this is just for some runes. There's literally no reason for me to do this otherwise, but I am stubborn. And there's no rush. I'm not doing a speed run. I'm just saying, hey, can I beat the game using, uh, using only... A torch, and I guarantee damn to you the answer is yes. But it's just a matter of time. A little bit of strategy. And he's dead. Yay, we got him. GG. And we got just the amount of souls we needed. Which is perfect. So we have that there to return to the top. And then we can open, I think, one of these doors, if I'm not mistaken. If not, we just go through this side of it. <laughs> and then we would have access to the Cypher Pata. Which is a faith-based weapon. I use it for one of my builds, but I'm not really a big fan of it. I thought it was going to be really awesome, but the damage is just not what I, what I thought it would be. Also, it doesn't cause any other kind of passive effects like it doesn't cause bleed or anything like that so it's a bit underwhelming actually it's just purely almost faith damage so not my favorite so we defeated mad tongue Alvric, and now uh, we can head back upstairs go back to master Hugh and uh, upgrade our weapon I'm gonna create a quick marker for that mad tongue All right, so now, since we're here, we have to do a few things so we can progress the quest lines. I don't want to just skim through it. I could beat the game pretty, relatively easily, I think. If, as long as I can beat the Draconic Tree Sentinel, well, I, took you for I think I got this. I think I got it. 
bow with the girl. She has a gift, so I told her. Nice. It was all I could do. I'm sorry I did. All right, sweet. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. So now let's go buy another one. Um. 588 so it'll cost 588 rune to level it up again i need one more smithing stone four so we can get it up i'm assuming four will get it up to 12. in order to determine how much you can level up a an item um like based on your standard armaments you just multiply the level of the bolstering material by three so if it's a smithing stone four you do 4 times 3, and that's 12. So that means it should be able to upgrade your weapon to plus 12. Um, yes, yes, yes. I wonder why she sells a crafting kit. That's not something I've seen before. I wonder if Kale is alive still, hopefully. I'm going to be shy like 70 runes. Lovely. Lovely. I'll sell like a silver pickled foul foot or something so i can get what i need here we don't want to give uh d the weather dagger just yet instead we do need to go back to our other area what is going on <laughs> dookie squirts what's up man hope you're doing good my brother really nice to see you just playing some elden ring doing a torch only run it's a little bit of a challenge run here there you go very nice so now we can go ahead and strengthen our armament again and we're going to get it up to plus 10. So I now need four smithing stones. Okay. That's not bad. So as I continue to get runes, I'll be able to use them and uh, keep leveling up for now. I think we're good. Plus 10 should get us where we need to get. Now I am going to actually take a little bit of a detour instead of just going through to the next boss. We're going to go back to, let's see here. I think the lift side chamber would be ideal. Thanks again for following. I really appreciate that. We're almost at 100 followers, guys. That's puts us at what 96 i'm no mathematician but we're damn close okay and this will also be an area that i could potentially use for the sake of like rune farming too because it's just low enough level that i won't die easily smithing stone one we'll probably also get some helpful crafting materials as well so here we're going to jump down, uh, grab every item. I don't remember all the items in this area, to be honest. I typically came down here just to kill the ulcerated tree spirit. So I can honestly tell you that I don't remember everything that's here. But that golden rune, too, will help us a bit. Most definitely. So we're going to run past. There's going to be a giant rat, which is my fracking phobia. Good gravy. Okay, we're out of that now. I don't really need to destroy this one. Actually, you look special. Ranker call. So that one gave us a spell. Very nice. Now, down here we are going to be facing off with the ulcerated tree spirit. My only thing is I probably need to change uh, my attacks here. So I'll, what I'm going to do actually is do something a little bit different than I would normally would. I'm going to change this to the arsenal charm so that my loadout remains light and i'm going to equip a shield this should give us 100 percent physical damage reduction it still puts us at medium oddly so i'm gonna have to take up another piece of armor there you go we're going barefoot then i'm gonna go ahead and use the flask of wondrous physic to boost my abilities thank you so much again and we got the smoldering butterfly. Let's go ahead and do some work. We got a big boy over here. We have the strategy to beat this. I think I've beaten, I don't know, 20 of these things in my pre in my past. So I think we have a strategy down. I'm greedy, so I'm grabbing everything. Being real greedy. Again, fire damage, it does a massive amount of damage to this creature, so... We are going to do all kinds of work on this guy here. Funny thing is, I, I feel actually all over level for this, which is really funny, considering we're using a torch. Not a very high damage dealing weapon. We're going to uh, block. Okay, we're not going to block. We're just going to get hit with the tail swipe. That's fine, too. Got a flask up here for safety. We killed it already. First try, guys. That is the ulcerated tree spirits with a torch only. 
I'm going to go ahead and create a marker for that as well. We got a golden seed for that too, which means we will be able to increase the number of flasks we got. We're going to pick up these throwing daggers. We could sell them for later or something. That's fine. Now, this is what we actually came here for, though. If you don't defeat the ulcerated tree spirit, you cannot truly get the benefit of this particular uh, quest line here. So if you see this blood stain, it's even there if you play offline, which I do. You can see Sorcerer Roger's death. Once you've seen his death, now you can go talk to him about it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go back up to the round table hold, talk to Sorcerer Roger, progress his quest line, and then we're going to um, hopefully Thea will give us the knife print for the um, <clears throat> the Black Knife Assassin Catacombs, which is what we're looking for. So we're going to come back over here. I'm going to remove my shield. I don't need it anymore. I'll put my shoes back on. Why not? So now we can go talk to Sorcerer Roger and say, hey, we witnessed your death, bro. About the corpse under Stormvale. That's actually his that body. Is a sacred oh, well, no. Of the Black Knives Club, as that famed night of assassination is known. It happened during the golden age. Someone stole a friend <clears> of <throat> a bitter night. That was the first record, and it became the catalyst. Soon, I once wished to become as the world has grown. You'd better understand that I urge thee. All right, sweet. So now that we have his dialogue, um, we're going to go ahead and go back to Fia, which should be off in this room right over here. We'll talk to her once again, get embraced. I am Would you like me? The blessing is still Would you like now? Gonna let her hold us because again, she doesn't actually talk with you unless she speaks in secret. She is one of my favorite characters because she's very interesting. Like her motivations are very neat. You are so <clears throat> I don't like how her story ends though, it's really sad. We'll say, Do you know? My dear. Have you ever, dear Roger, and the ancient the black knife, along with you. these grand, but dear, intro about the black knife print? So now we have the knife print clue. That means but we can go over perhaps. to the actual um, black knife assassin area itself. What is happening here? Oh, yeah. don't know why it does that. Anyways, okay, so now we're back on, back live. We've got the knife print clue. So I, before I kill anybody in the actual capital, I will go ahead and clear out that cave. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and talk to Master well, Hugh again, upgrade our weapons even further. Oh, which means I'll need to purchase a few stones, right? I think four? I think four was the magic number. So we're going to come back over here, grab our smithing stones. And we're just trying to beef up our weapons really quickly. We are using a very weak weapon, so uh, we need to have any every possible benefit here. We'll go up to four. That should be enough. And then we should be able to level up at least one time. So Or increase our armament strength at least the one time. So off we go. We'll talk to Hugh again, and then we should be able to level it up just the one time. Strength and armament. So now this will bump it up to plus 11. Okay, so now we need six smithing stones. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I don't think you can use Ashes of War on torches, so it kind of is what it is. But at this point, now we know what we need, so um, we're going to go ahead and take on the Draconic Tree Sentinel, which is going to be a very, very difficult boss. But one I am ready for, so uh, it's gonna we're gonna die a lot, but <clears throat> I am okay with that. I am prepared for the worst. But again, you've seen me in my first playthrough; we died multiple times to many bosses. Um, it's just a matter of time, and once I get down the move set with this particular torch, I'll be able to be much more efficient, and we'll do a lot more damage. And hopefully, with that, we'll be able to take him out. I'm confident we will. It's just gonna be a little bit. Because that second phase is a doozy. And I also get a little bit greedy with the damage that I'm dealing. So sometimes I like to get in an extra hit and that can cost me. Especially at this level. 
So um, once we defeat the Draconic Tree Sentinel, we will go ahead and purchase a handful of more stones. Uh, purchase the six stones that we're needing. And then I'll also be leveling up as much as possible to bump up my vitality or in this particular game, the attribute called Vigor, which will increase my health bar. Vigor and Strength are going to be the two attributes that I want to focus on primarily. And then aside from that, we'll be continuing to upgrade our weapon as well. The golems to our right that are off in the woods are shooting at us right now, so I am trying to narrowly avoid these arrows here. I say arrows, they're more like freaking poles or something, they're massive. Alright, so this is the Stake of America right here, we've tagged it. Let's go, uh, let's go fight some stuff, shall we? Alright. Very nice. Dodge. Oh, see, I got hit there. I should have been a little bit more patient on that one. Dodge. Dodge. We're going to dodge in and heal. Fix my glasses. Lovely. It's a fast strike that I wasn't used to. Dodge over here so we can avoid that flame. That AoE splash damage is crazy, so I need to stay a little bit further away. And instead of backing away, I need to just go ahead and dodge. There you go. That's a fast combo, sir. A fast combo. You know, one thing I didn't do is I didn't increase my flash charge, because I could have had one more heal. That's okay, though. We haven't done a lot of damage just yet, unfortunately. I've been getting hit a lot more than normal. We're gonna keep our distance here. Dodge. Dodge. We're just getting some iframes here. I'm gonna dodge towards him this time. Back away. Go forward. Back. Oh no, that hurt. That hurt. Barely dodged that. Could have taken some heavy damage there. My controller is still fighting me. It wants me to turn left. But I'm holding right as hard as possible. There you go. I jumped instead of rolled oddly. I was going in for a jumping strike because I was like, man, I haven't done any damage, but I just need to be more patient in that encounter. Um, that's going to be a very tough fight. A very, very tough fight indeed. No worries, though. Once we get through this particular boss fight, the rest should be relatively straightforward. Let's see here. I don't really need the runes either. It's fine. We'll get many more runes by defeating this guy. I should have gone in and attacked. I'm not sure what I was thinking there. Jumped a bit too early there. Very nice. Not nice at all. I healed at the wrong time. Totally got heal punished there. So the windows for attacking and the windows and for healing are the same. And that was a window that I should not have taken at all. He was mid mid attack there. So no worries. We got this. We've defeated a handful of bosses already using the torch. This is just a matter of time. Got to learn his patterns again. It's been probably uh, three four days since I've fought him last. So. A little rusty. See there, I had all this opportunities to deal damage, but I just forgot. Got to go in aggressive there while he's doing his little introductory pose and then get all the damage possible. We'll 
dodge this fire strike here. Same thing. All these little fireballs are gonna... Nice. Just be dodged. Dodge this as well. Very nice. Okay, so as long as we can sneak in a few hits there, it's fine. I, do, I would like to deal more damage. But who wouldn't, right? Even at plus 10 or plus 11, it's still a little underwhelming on the damage department. But we're getting the iframe, so we're timing the rolls perfectly at least. See, I would like to hit him with more jumping attacks. And the funny thing is, I forgot to change my charm back to the jumping charm, the assassin's charm, which en enhances the amount of damage I can deal with jumping attacks. So, I need to be uh, mindful of that. I'm going to change it if, if, for whatever reason, I die again. There you go. Back away. Uh oh, that was scary. Gonna dodge these fireballs again. Gonna back away here and try to flask up. There you go. Ooh. Didn't dodge that right, and then that actually getting hit threw me off. So my timing was totally off. I jumped a little bit too early because I panic rolled. And I got punished for it. But that's fine. That allows us to go ahead and change our charms up just a bit. We can do that. Um, I don't need the arsenal charm anymore. Sadly, that doesn't really do a lot for us. The shield pushed us over the limit immediately. So that was really disappointing. We need this charm instead. This with the blue dancer charm should allow us to deal a lot more damage. So here we go again. I'm just going to go for the, the damage instead of the runes. Very nice. Good chunk of damage in the first sequence already. Better than we've done so far. Nice. We're going to back away. Keep our distance here. Got tagged right in the face. That's okay. Going to back away. Flask up. Back away. Dodge this fireball. Dodge this fireball. Dodge. Wait for him to do a melee strike if he ever chooses to do so. Tag him once. Back away. I missed my jumping attack there, which is unfortunate. He's got two variants of that, uh... That attack there, so we gotta be careful. That fireball strike can be a real pain. <laughs> it misses Dicky Scores. <laughs> what is up? How are you doing? Hope you're doing really good today. Thank you so much for joining and watching. Watching me play this game that you probably have no clue what's going on, but it is okay. The support is all that matters. I'm over here uh, doing a challenge run for Elden Ring, and this is a very difficult game, and I'm using a torch as my weapon, so that's kind of the challenge here. Dodging these fireballs. This guy is very annoying. He has a phase 2, so once I get him down to 50% health, or you know, 55 to 60% health, he will start changing up his attack patterns, and he will gain lightning, uh, which is going to cause even more problems for us, unfortunately. I healed a little bit too late there. That's my bad. I need to actually use this so I can deal a little bit more damage. So I'm going to dodge here, back away, 
flask up, get hit in the face, that's fine. Nice. He hit me uh, with the AoE, so I got staggered. And then I wasn't able to dodge in time because I was still in the recovery animation there. So that, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to die a lot to this boss. It's probably going to be... If you've seen any of my other challenge runs, um, sometimes we'll be fighting the same boss for, I'd say, hours. And it's, it's just a matter of perseverance, I'd say, and patience, which I lack both. I like patience. I don't like, like perseverance, but man. Sometimes it is tough to fight these same bosses and lose for like two hours just to get that one sweet, sweet victory. But it's worth it, because we're going to do the challenge. I hopefully, we'll be the world's first to do a torch only run. I don't know if I've seen anybody do it, so that'd be awesome if we could be the first ones to do it. And, and I'm not really doing a speed run by any means. I'm just casually just figuring out the strategy so that way I can put a guide together and show everybody how to do it for yourself. Challenge runs and guides are going to be like my, kind of my thing. I want to show you guys how to do challenge runs for yourself. And while I do it while I'm streaming, I'm just kind of showing you my thought process so you guys get to see how crazy it is. There you go. Dodge back. I would like to take advantage of my increased damage, but instead I'm going to die. <laughs> the increased damage from that flask is only about 20 to 30 damage, so it's not nearly as much as I thought it would be. That's alright, though. But thanks again for following. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate the support. We are almost at 100 um, followers. I think we're at 97 followers now with the two new additions for today. So thank you guys so much. All right, here goes. I'm going to save that flask for later because I can use it for health. Very nice. Okay, he's doing that already. He did the variant that burns right at his feet, so that's pretty tough to dodge when you're that close. Yeah. I gambled there. I figured, should I heal or should I go on for an attack? Unfortunately, he was a little bit out of range there because the torch has a very short range. And I uh, got hit with that backslash instead and died. That's going to be the moral of the story today. A lot of repeated deaths. Tons of them. But we have to learn from each of our deaths. There he goes. Alright, so now we're going to go and we're going to start in with a jumping attack and then do a four hit combo here. Jumping attack and then one, two, three. Oh, I missed. Three, four. That'll work for me. Dodge back, flask up, and then we're going to wait for the fireballs. Yep. Dodge in, back away back away again. I'm trying to see how aggressive I can be and how close I can stick to him. Because the closer I can stick to him, the more damage I'll be able to do. So I'm way, I'm way uh, at a disadvantage here with the attacks because he has incredible range and he has projectiles. I only have a torch. Each of his strikes also has a massive AoE, so that means an area of effect, so it has a huge slam, and the ripples of that, or the shockwave of that slam can hurt me. So this guy is just completely loaded out. He is prepared to kill me. And I have a torch. Dodge. There we go. I'm trying to see if I can get in on this side, make him do his shield strike here, but he is very stubborn today. The Draconic Tree Sentinel is one of those bosses that will, like, make players stop playing the game. He is definitely one of those gateway bosses, so... Um, I think it's kind of fun that we're hopefully making light of him here by defeating him with a torch, if we're able to do so. Back away. Dodge. I need to see if I can incorporate some more of these jump attacks here, though. Nice. I was mid-animation, so I was not able to dodge away. If you commit to a strike, you better be committed. 100%. Because if not, you're going to get hit right in the face. Now, we don't really have the means to stun him very well, which is a bit of a problem. Um, 
I'm thinking the only other thing we could do is try and change up the flask ingredients and maybe enhance our charge attacks. Let me see here. Strength not. I'm going to look at my inventory again. Um, this right here enhances charge attacks. Hmm. I could try using that, I suppose. Good morning. Let's make it a great stream indeed. Do less. Oh, I'm so greedy. I knew that was going to happen. I need that damage. I'll say if I survive that, then I'm going to heal. But I didn't figure I would. Okay. What shall we do to increase our damage here? Because that first phase... I'm not able to get him to the second phase, which I was consistently able to do on the first attempt on my stream. So, I don't know what I was doing. I think I was incorporating much more jump attacks. So, I'm going to try that instead. We'll go ahead and use this flask right now to get the increased damage. up and dodge the fireball is sure to come those shockwaves are so annoying now he's far enough to start flinging fireballs so that's exactly what he's gonna be doing dodge all right any any second now big guy nice dodge I always commend the AI for making good moves like that, and it's because it's so, it's so well programmed. It's very reminiscent of Dark Souls 3. I mean, these guys just have excellent knowledge of their movements and their attack patterns, and they know exactly how to optimize or capitalize on any mistake you make. So the AI is just very commendable. Any second now, genius. I'm going to flask up again. I have six flasks left. It's a lot to manage in this encounter. And we're not even in phase two just yet. I'm going to flask up again. At least we have five left. Back away. That was very risky, but I wanted to get that extra little chip damage in there. I'm going to keep dodging as much as possible here. <clears throat> The key is I need to figure out how to get to phase two a lot faster. That way we can practice phase two as much as possible. Phase two is really where the fight begins, to be honest. But I need to warm up a few times. I and mean, this is, I just been streaming, what, 30, 40 minutes right now. So got to warm up a bit. These boss fights are quite a challenge. I'm going to flask up, hopefully, before he starts shooting his fireballs. There you go. And when I say flask up, I mean I'm just trying to heal. I'm using a flask. A flask of Crimson Tears allows us to heal. Back away, I'm going to flask up again, twice this time. Because he hurt me pretty bad. We are now in phase two, officially. You can tell by the lightning surrounding his weapon. There you go, still got me. Fireball almost got me as well. Very nice. Direct hit in the face. Okay, that was scary. I have zero he heals left. Okay, I gotta back away here. Fireballs are going to be really hard to dodge. I had no visibility there. Dodging in. Slam attack. Dodge back. If I get hit once more, I'm dead. So we got to be very careful here. We got him to phase two, though, which is good. Good practice for me, anyway. So I'm going to be... Instead of dodging to the right, I am going to dodge to the left. Because my controller doesn't allow me to go to the right fully without pushing back to the left. So what happens is... I'm actually shortening my ability to dodge the full length. 
So that lightning attack has about three lightning bolts. <clears throat> and if you don't dodge them all, of course you're gonna get hit by one. So I need to do better to, um, to stay in a little bit closer there. And then whenever the attack's coming, I'll sprint and dodge to the left fully. I will not dodge those to the right anymore. And I'll also try and dodge downhill if possible. A lot of good jumping attacks there. More fireballs. <clears throat> Very nice. Oh, I'm gonna get hit right in the face. That was my fault. Dodge. Lovely. Oof, I got greedy. I got greedy. I was hoping that that strike would go right over my head. <laughs> there is a, a, one other strategy I could try, but I'm not going to try and parry it right now. Like Parrying would be pretty difficult to do. Um, maybe if it takes another three attempts or so, I can try incorporating the parry into this uh, build, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it. I could definitely try, though. I'd like to get some stuns on this guy here, but I haven't been lucky enough to do that. This guy's everywhere. Yep, you're doing that variant of it now. Very nice. We have some increased attack damage, which is great. But we gotta survive. <clears throat> that was tricky, Mr. Horse. He's done three variants of his, uh, two variants, I'm sorry, of his fire attack, and I died. <clears throat> when it's that close, it's a lot harder to dodge because the splash damage will also hurt you. So even if you dodge the fireball, if the fireball hits close enough to the floor, you will take some damage there. So, okay. You know what? I'm curious. Let's just go ahead and try this parry method. See what happens here. It's going to be hard to parry because I don't know even what attacks I could parry. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be risky. Little, This is going to be incredibly high risk, high reward though. Okay. That's going to be the move right there. Right there. That's where it's all at. All right, here goes. Jump. Oh, lovely. Okay. That wasn't quite what we needed. Pairing is re requires you to perfectly time the uh, moment of contact with your shield. And if you do it, you get some pretty good effects like that. You get to stagger him a bit, which is awesome. Never done that before. I've never parried this guy. I didn't even know you could, to be honest, because his hammer's so huge. Dodge. That was awesome, though. That gives me hope. Now, I suck at parrying. At least big guys like this. I can usually parry... Uh, Humanoid enemies pretty well, but this guy is massive and he's got a huge weapon a move set I'm not too familiar with either The swings are kind of weird. So you have to understand like the actual physics of the game as well and understand The mechanics of that strike and right now I don't know when it actually hits my collision detect or when it actually collides with my hitbox So that's what I'm trying to figure out here I won't be able to parry that that's a shield strike there you go. That's not bad. I don't know if I can do a jumping attack. Okay, okay. I've got a strategy here. That's okay that I died. I was more so panicking. Um, but here's the thing. The fact that we can parry is not bad at all. I think the only thing that I don't like is that I'll have to only rely on one-handing my torch, which means if I'm only holding it in one hand, that does a little bit less damage than if I held it in both of my hands. 
So by two-handing a weapon, you increase your damage. I'm going to just be using the one-handed, because I don't want to keep switching back and forth like this, because doing that on the fly while I'm trying to get some additional ha hits in is going to be very difficult. Alright, so, hmm. It's fine. Let's just win. Lovely. I can't parry a fireball. Nice. That's all it takes to die. Two hits and you'll get killed pretty much by any boss at this point in time. So this is going to be pretty difficult. I am going to try and go that parry route though. Because if I can get him to get in this sort of pattern and parry the boss and keep attacking, parry the boss, keep attacking, I think we'll be in good shape. Oh, you know what I should have... Eh, I messed up. <laughs> I messed up there. That's okay. That's okay. No, don't do that. I can't see what you're doing, sir. Fireball. Okay, that was scary. I can actually dodge that one too, or parry that one too. Oh, I'm scared. You're too scary, don't do that. That's a big attack right there. When he winds up that long, he's he means business, so. A little splash damage there. Dodge the side. More fireballs, very nice. Could not parry that one. I couldn't parry that one either. I'm gonna die if I get hit here. Whew, that was scary. Very nice. Taking a lot of damage here as I'm trying to learn these parries, but that's fine. I have to figure out the moveset. There you go. Oh, that was scary. Very quick attack there. Unfortunately, I was not prepared for that. Well, this is going to be a morning. This is the boss, at least in my other challenge run, too, that I ended up stopping on. Not because I, I gave up or anything, but because I hadn't beaten the game yet, and I already started a level one run. Um, so, it's funny that now in my torch only run, I'm at the same boss. I think we're going to have... A chance to beat him though let me see you know what I could do didn't even think about it I need to change this and this you're gonna try and hurt me aren't you should still be a light load yep okay there you go. I'm going in the endies. The only reason for that is because I need the light load to get the additional damage. Not only that, but um, what I can do is I can switch my shield to a buckler. A buckler is going to have more parry frames. So what that means is I'll be able to do more parries or the window of opportunity for me to do parries is really just fractions of a second and if I can actually okay so here's the math behind it so every time I'm doing this parry animation in that entire animation let's say that it lasts one second there's so many frames happening so it could be either 30 or 60 frames happening so every second there's either 30 or 60 frames right now I'm thinking of running at 30 frames so what that means is um, whenever the attack animation's happening, there's a certain amount of frames where it actually deals damage. And there's a certain amount of parry frames that I have as well. I have to time up each attack with my parry, and every single different attack has a, a different window to parry. So I have literally fractions of a second to figure out how to time that right. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a bit of an advantage here. And not a, not a huge advantage over the boss itself, but just more so... 
increasing my chances and likelihood of potentially being able to actually level up. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, to, to parry. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the Godric the Grafted side of the Grace here. There should be an NPC here by the name of Gostock the, um, Gostock. And let me see, I, did I kill, I may have killed him. I killed him, that's right. Never mind. I killed him strategically because the reason why is I needed his bell bearing so I could purchase his items. He was not necessarily in a very talkative mood, so I was unable to purchase any of his goods. So because I have his uh, bell bearing, I can run back over here now to the Twin Maiden Husks and purchase anything he would have sold me. So I need to go to here, offer Gostock's bell bearing, and now I can purchase anything that he would have normally sold me. So. The buckler is 1,500 runes. Um, I don't really have a ton of stuff right now, so let's see here. Can get rid of this. I need some runes. The thing is, I don't think I have 1,500 bucks worth of runes. Well, I took you for it, no matter it. Lay out your arm. I'm gonna sell whatever I have that's worth selling. That's only 400 runes right there. Gosh, that's a lot. You know what? Hmm. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I was gonna sell those boss souls, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. Those remembrances are really special, and if I can find a way to duplicate them, which I know how to do, then I can do that and then consume one and have one on my person still. Okay, so in that case, if we want some quick runes, we can run down to Castle Morn should be fine. It's not an easy area, but uh, I'm deliberating what I want to do here. I need to find a spot that's easy enough for me to just get some runes. We'll go to Stormhill Shack and we'll destroy some trolls. If I can kill some trolls, then I'll be able to get 1,500 runes that I need to go ahead and do what we're trying to do here. I hate running around naked though, so am I still light? Okay, good. Very nice. So we have to kind of back away for a second so we can update our strategy because I am going to try and go for the parries. That's actually really effective if I can pull it off consistently. Looks like there's some enemies there that I can destroy, which is great. Very nice. That was 280 some odd runes. Not bad. Go ahead and destroy this guy as well. Ouch. You know, I actually have a thought to um, face off with one of these enemies over here. His name is the Recusant Henricus. And if I can defeat him, I should be able to get um, his talisman, which allows us to deal some uh, increased damage with our charge attacks. So maybe that could be something I could do to help further stun this enemy, because the... Uh, the Draconic Tree Sentinel has a lot, a lot of poise, so if I can continue staggering him with the parries and maybe chain together some regular strikes in, like some charged attacks, that's going to increase my chances of being able to stay on the offensive. The more attacks I have to parry and the more I have to dodge, the more likely I am to die. That's just the, the science behind that, so I have to reduce the amount of opportunities he's striking me. And by keeping him off balance, that's the way to do it. There is Henricus. I am standing in the mag. Very nice. We have defeated the recusant Henricus, and we got his hammer talisman, which I do believe is going to be helpful here. If it's something that's for charge attacks, let me just double check. We're going to go to our talismans. And again, as you know, I typically, this is my thought process. So you guys are actually getting to see kind of what I do behind the scenes.
before I do a challenge run. But instead, I'm doing the challenge run live, so I'm actually figuring it out with you guys, which is a lot of fun. Enhances stamina reducing attacks. See, I don't think that's the one. Against blockers. See, I need the axe talisman. Let me see where I would obtain that from. I don't remember anymore. I've obtained all these things in my pre my current playthrough, but um, or my previous playthrough, sorry. The one that I did 99% run, but this particular one, I just don't know. I don't remember where all these talismans are. I think this one's actually in a cave. Enhances charge attacks. Okay, very nice. Ah, this is going to be great then. So this is in Mistwood Ruins. That's right. I remember now. So from here, Mistwood Ruins is just right this way. So we're going to go here. I'm going to mark this first, actually. We're going to go from Fort Height West, just northwest a little bit. That way we can go ahead and actually um, find this area. And what we're going to do is here, there's going to be a cellar. Every set of ruin, ruins has a cellar. And so we can find the contents of the cellar, and it'll be the axe talisman. This will increase our charge attacks. I got it confused with the hammer talisman, which enhances any attacks. Like, say, for example, somebody is blocking and turtling up behind a shield. Well, you can always... Um, you can always use the hammer talisman and just spam your attacks. That way you can break their guard much easier. But since the uh, Draconic Tree Sentinel doesn't really mind, <laughs> he's pretty tough. He can tank some pretty powerful attacks. What we're going to do instead is find a way to break in through his guard. And the best way to do that is to keep him off balance. Because Let's see. Yeah, that might not be it. I don't think this is it. No, that's a smithing stone, which is great, though. I still need these. There's a weird way to get in this one. That is a giant bear. I do not want to fight with the bears right now. They usually have so much health. He's already found me, though. All right, we're going to have to do this, aren't we? Yep, you want to battle. I figured with a beast repellent torch, you wouldn't want to fight me, but you want to fight me. Bear. I can't see anything. I think the biggest enemy right now is the freaking camera angles. Dodge. Okay. Now he's dead. You missed your attack, sir. And it costs you dearly. Okay, so now we got some beast blood and a hefty beast bone. I am looking for a specific area over here. It should be on the edge or the corner of these ruins. The cellars are typically marked by, um, like, torches and stuff, too. There it is. Lovely. So now we're going to grab the Axe Talisman. This should help increase the power of our charged attacks. Very good. Okay. So now I can consider either having a little bit slightly higher attack damage... Let me see exactly what this does here. That does give me a pretty good benefit. Not bad, okay. Um, but instead, we're probably going to go with the charged attacks and the jumping attacks. I'm just thinking through this, thinking through this. Or if not, we're going to go charge attacks. light load still now I need the buckler let's see did I get I got 1500 souls so I have 2,000 souls now which is fantastic um, we'll come back here later for some quest line stuff so that means we need to go back to the round table hold purchase the buckler which is the shield we're trying to save up for once we have this shield we should have increased parry frames which means it will be more likely to parry the strikes Ooh, it requires 13 dexterity, though. Mm-mm-mm. Tisk, tisk, tisk. I just bought it, too. That is unfortunate. I did not know that. 
<clears throat> 13 dexterity. There is another smaller shield that may not require such dexterity. Let me see here. It's going to be over by Bellum Church. Okay. It's a, a very small shield. I think it's called something like a rift shield or something like that. And this might be the answer because I don't know if I want to pump up my dexterity unnecessarily. I'm actually heading the wrong way. I need to go the opposite direction. Oh my gosh, I did not know that was a human that scared the bejeebies out of me. What were you doing in the trees? Okay, that scared me. So we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go down um, this little path here. We're passing Bellum Church. And from here, we should go down a kind of natural hill here. And then there's gonna be a merchant somewhere. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, he's down there. So I actually need to go down this path instead. There it is. Okay, he's right over here. You again? You again? I know, I know. You're a merchant, though, so you kind of are asking for trouble. So this. Eighteen uh, hundred mm -hmm. runes. Alright, we have our 1800 runes. Let's buy this one instead. This one is much smaller. You, found it? Well, be on your way, then. you are not the best merchant, so you're mean. You're a mean old man. All right, let's see if uh, <laughs> let's see if this does the trick, shall we? If for whatever reason we continue having trouble with it, I'm gonna fight him for a good. Now I'm gonna be very consistent in my fight with him and stick around with him for a while. Um, and when we do, I'm gonna do my best to just stick with this particular method. If for whatever reason it's just impossible to beat. I can just go level up some more. And that's something that I haven't really considered doing yet just because I don't like to do that. It takes a while. Now, especially on the challenge run, you don't want to have to stop and level. Um, the one thing I could always do, though, to level up quickly, though, would be to duplicate the boss runes that I've obtained. And I could level up a bunch. Boost stamina. So we probably want the stamina boost, and we also want charge attack boost. I'm going to go ahead and increase the flasks. So now I can have one more flask. All right, we should be good to go now. All right. I'm going to go ahead and mark my area. And now let's go. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, I pressed triangle. Okay, I was like, what it just happened? I guess I was so close to the, the side of grace, I still activated the uh, the rest animation. That's okay, though. All right, let's go. So now we're going to stick with our, our current method now. We're going to try parrying him to death. We have a slightly different loadout. I think we're still light load. Lovely. So we got this. We have a shield now that we can parry with. We have um, some enhanced charge attacks. And overall damage I did remove the jumping damage talisman just because the jump attacks although they're good I, I just don't know if they're gonna work for me right now if the only minor change I will make ah, will be changing the blue dancer talisman to one of the jumping talismans or something instead because if I can get more stuns that that's the key avoid me these guys are knocking down trees with their arrows. I'm telling you, these are like massive bolts. It's like they're they're shooting flagpoles at you. And he's trying to actually redirect his aim, but I'm so far to the left, he doesn't know where the hell I'm at. 
Let's just go with it. Let's just do it. Let's do our thing. They're still shooting arrows at me. Just F B T dubs. By the way. Lovely. I forgot I had to parry. Dodge. Dodge. Oh, I don't know what's happening there. Yeah. I, I totally panicked. I couldn't tell if he was going to be striking or using the horse, uh, the horse's rear attack. So I was like, ah. And he did a little bit of both. He actually was rearing and then he, he struck me with his attack. He typically doesn't do... Um, after the, I mean, I'm sorry, after the introductory, like, n like rear that he does, when he's kind of like saying, hey, I'm here, uh, then he will strike and rear at the same time, so I just forgot about that. Alright, now we're in the zone here. Very nice. Okay, a fireball at that range, sir? You nasty. Lovely. Okay, sir. Let's not do that. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. I got heal punished. So, another neat mechanic about this game is if you are in the middle of, say, an animation like an attack, a dodge, or you're healing, if you get hit, you'll take extra damage. What is up? Ah, Kappa. How does one pronounce that? Akapa. Ah, you changed your name. You changed it. Oh my goodness gracious. Gotta love that parry. Oh! Parry attempt anyway. Dodge back. Flask up. Not die. Yes. Quit doing that. That was scary. Alright, I'm gonna try and parry him. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt. Oh gosh, my face. My goodness gracious. Yep. So I need to think. After I parry, do I do my charge attack or my jump attack? I say we do a charge attack after the parry. And then we go in and do a running jump attack. Because I need to get a cycle going. Like it's like parry, charge, jump. Parry, charge, jump. I'm going to get this guy into a cycle. That was a charge attack, and even though it's a standard attack that he does, if he holds it and charges it, the AoE is just exponentially increased. So I accidentally healed, or tried to heal, using the wrong flask, and that flask was empty, so my animation was like, what? My guy was all uh, confused, and so was I, because when I realized that I didn't heal, I was like, oh gosh, and I didn't dodge in time when I died. So we're going to do this. Go down, flask over uh, to our crimson tears, and now we're good. Won't happen again. Lovely. 
There it is. I'm gonna charge R2 here. Oh, why didn't that stun you, sir? Then dodge that. So the charge attack didn't stun him. I'm perplexed. There it is. Oh, okay. I was trying to uh, get position because here's the thing with this guy too. Because he's at a higher elevation, his strikes aren't going to come at the same angles as if he was standing in front of you. So what happens is you have to position yourself at the horse's shoulder. And if you're not there, then you're not at a proper angle to parry. Not only that, but you have to time it right. And yeah, and you have to also know which attack he's doing. So a lot of factors to consider here. But it's fine. I do this every day. Lovely. Thank you, sir. Dodge. Nice. I was in the middle of my attack animation still, after, even though I hit him. And so it dealt an additional damage. And he took about 75% of my health with that one strike. Any two hits are going to kill me anyway. So that's why I'm not, too fu and I'm not really fussing about it. Because at this point, at this level that I'm at, Two hits will kill me, regardless of what he hits me with, so. Unless it's just a glancing blow. Oh, okay, that was close. What you got? Get out of the tree, sir. Really hard to fight you in there. Come to me. How is he already doing a phase two strike? I've never seen that in my life. He did a phase two strike and he only had about 95% of his health. That is very interesting. I wasn't expecting that and that's certainly going to hit me that early on because I, I did not expect him to do those kinds of strikes just yet. Wow, okay. That was interesting. Alright, let's do this again, shall we? That would have been really nice to get another parry. But I, I did it way too early. Another thing I didn't do is I always need to buff before I go into the fight. So I should always be doing that. Alright, here goes. Flask of Wondrous Physic. We're gonna... Use that first, switch over to our Crimson Tears. Two jumping attacks. Slide around here, do a charge attack. Dodge, because I can't parry in time. Dodge this as well. Charge attack. Jumping attack. Parry. Charge attack. Jumping attack. Dodge. Dodge. Elbow. Fudge. Dodge. Dodge. I'm gonna get hit in the face. Yep. Dodge. So I'm gonna parry this, sir. Get out of here. That was a slower strike that I'm not used to. Dodge. Oh, I wasn't used to that one. That's a really slow charge, a wind up there anyway. I did the wrong technique. Oh, that's okay. Let's go ahead and regroup. Dodge. 
Dodge. Dodge. Oh! I wasn't close enough. I'm dead. I panic rolled after I got hit. So then when I, I was in the roll animation and he was already mid-strike, I couldn't roll again, so I died. We got a pretty good amount of damage there that time. We were starting to get a cycle going as well. Parry, charge, jump. Parry, charge, jump. We had it going for a second, then I accidentally did parry, jump, charge, and that threw me off a bit. He started doing those slow winding strikes, which I should be able to parry a little bit more effectively. I didn't buff, but that's fine. The damage is minimal. I wasn't in the right position. Not a good start so far. That's okay, though. Doesn't mean we gotta give up. Not in a good position there. Dodge to the side. Couldn't get the range right there to parry that attack. I think I'm too far away to get these parries off right now. We haven't successfully parried one strike just yet. There you go. splash damage. I wasn't in front of him there, so that little jump attack, it really positioned him behind me, so the AoE got me anyway. He's just spamming fireballs. I have no more heals left, so we have to pull this off to what we got. <laughs> right when we started getting a rhythm, we're only one shot anyway, so that's fine. I think we have 10 flasks. It should be plenty. I just missed so many parry opportunities, and of course, after one hit, I need to use a flask. Because if I don't, I will die in the next hit. So, this is a very high risk, high reward play style that I'm doing right now with the parries. But I do think it's going to be the best. Took that damage there, unnecessarily. Dodge. Too close. There you go. That's the angle we need. Oh my goodness, that was quick. Dodge. It's alright. Charge attack. Jump attack. Ah, oh, slow, slow attack. That's a hard one to dodge because I'm expecting the fast strikes there. Charge attack. Jump attack. Charge attack. Jump attack. Charge attack. 
Jump attack. Charge attack. Jump attack. Oh my goodness. That was scary. Oh, okay. That's not the right attack. Expecting the fireballs any second now. Charge attack. Jump attack. Charge. Jump. That was scary. Oh my goodness, I was fixing my glasses there, genius. Back away. Still got me. I'm not sure what that attack is. Okay. Okay, I wasn't sure what to expect there. I'm gonna back away, watch for the fireball. Charge attack. Jump attack. Charge attack. Jump attack. Back away, watch for the fireball. We have no heals. Charge attack. Jump attack. I missed my parry op. And I died. We got him so close, guys. That was probably, what, 30% health left? That's excellent. Excellent attempt. Excellent attempt. If we can pull that off, we got this. We were incredibly aggressive in that attempt, too, so it is just awesome. Um, when we're doing that fight, it's just, uh, you gotta be relentless. Those parries are very tough to time, but we got this. Charge. Jump. I was a little too late, it's okay. I didn't know if I could parry that one, I'm gonna try anyway. Okay, that was scary. Let's go ahead and re regroup. I missed way too many opportunities there. So I needed to regroup for sure. Charge attack. Jump attack. You jerk, he's doing all the different variants of the fireballs. Very tough to dodge. Especially at this range. Charge. Jump. Dodge these fireballs here. I am ready for you to fight me fair, please. Oh, I missed. Go ahead and re-up our health. Dodge these fireballs here. Charge attack. Jump attack. I have three flasks left. I gotta make them count. There you go. Charge. I should have done a jumping attack there. It's okay. You and your trees, you're just a deforestation, right? In the flesh. Dodge the fireball. Oh, how could I not dodge that? That's one of the easier attacks to dodge, too. It's terrible. We'll back away and watch for the fireball. Charge. Jump attack. Backing away from that bear, that's for sure. 
dodging that too. That's scary. Yep, not messing with that. Watching the fireball. Oh no, it hit me anyways. That's terrible. Ah, oh, I dodged too early. That almost got killed. You know when you're expecting to not take damage and you get hit right in the face? That's what just happened. Twice. Whew. That was terrifying. That lightning bolt just threw me off entirely. Getting hit from that AoE strike. And then the mi almost missing the fireball dodge. I knew I was going to miss the timing of that one strike. So that's fine. We're getting close, guys. We're getting real close. Scary close. We've been going for an hour and 35 minutes. This boss is going down. One day. Eventually. I missed my attack. That's okay. We'll go ahead and dodge that fireball. Same with this one. Same with all of these fireballs, actually. Missed that strike there. Missed our parry opportunity. We got that one, though. That one's really hard to do oh, parry right there that I just parried. Because he's masking it behind the horse rearing. So you have to watch both the horse and the attack here. The rider. I want to see if I can parry that backhand attack. That's what I'm actually trying to practice. I did. I could have dodged, but I'm trying to see if I can. When he does the strike on the same side of the horse and then comes across from the opposite side, I need to know if I can parry that. I think it might be a bit too high. Man, these parries though—they're getting better, and it's. I'm not going to say it's easy because it's definitely not. I am struggling with these parry timings, but um, we will get it. We got this guy. Nice. I missed the, uh, I got the first parry and then that second strike, it was the exact same strike that I had just parried previously, but somehow I was like, how do I parry this? And then he followed up with an overhand strike, which I thought I could parry. Um, and it is parryable, I just failed the timing. Poor execution. I need to be popping that way early. Wasn't expecting that. Splash damage got me there too. He's in terrible positions. This entire time he's been positioned so poorly. Should have dodged that, it's okay. There you go. I will not give up, Draconic Tree Sentinel. And we'll do a jump attack here. Should have parried that. See that secondary strike? I think what I'm doing is when I miss the first parry, I'm then going for another parry, and then I'm, well, as I'm finishing that animation, the other strike's going, so then I can't parry a third time. So if I miss the first parry, I just need to patiently wait for the second parry, or dodge away and regroup. More spe I think it'd be better for me to dodge away and regroup, but at the same time, I never do what I say. I'm always like, yeah, but, you know, I could always get more damage in. I know what I should do, but will I do it? Another question. I tried to parry that. He that's his charge attack, so anytime an enemy is doing a charged attack, so they're holding like their attack animation, uh, they can kind of hone in on your position, so they'll track, track, track. 
So the more I moved, the more he was going to move. So I was trying to position myself to the horse's shoulder. But as I was doing that, he was turning a little bit too much. So and next time he does the charge attack, I'm just going to stay out of range. Oh my gosh, how did I miss that? I said I was gonna go away, but I didn't, because I, I remember I told you I'm a rebel. Do what I want. Too close. There you go. We'll do our jump attack here. Charge attack. Jump attack. I should have got a charge attack in there. Oh, that was bad. Dodge, okay. It was very risky for me to have healed there, but I was far enough away, I thought it worked. We'll do a jump attack. He, char he charged it just a bit, so they can delay just as, as many seconds as we can, so you have a max charge where if you hold the, the weapon and never let go, the release is still going to happen within a certain period of seconds. Or at any point in time, in between the standard attack versus the charged animation, you have all of the variants of different seconds in there. So you can hold it for any period of time. So you have to adjust to that whenever you're doing parries. And that is very difficult. Because he just did a second variation of his strike there. I didn't dodge early enough, and I dodged too late there. <laughs> I say dodge, I didn't parry. The first one wasn't early enough, and the, and the second one, I mean, the first one was too early, the second one was too late. Whew. What a beatdown. I will beat him, though. I, I have no choice. I have to, because I have to get through into Lanedale. Should have buffed a million miles ago, that's fine though. Too late. Just right. We'll do our charge attack, and jump, and get burned to a crisp. I was trying to wait, because what's happening on that variant, or that variation of the fireball, whenever he rears up, he goes up just one more tick and then burns at his own hooves or his feet. Um, I've been jumping a little bit too early on that one, so I've still been taking damage. So I waited, but I waited a little bit too too long. And I paid for it. I didn't die there. Lucky that we didn't. I was improperly positioned for every single one of those last two parries, and then the first two I just missed. I had just a tick of damage left, or tick of health left, that saved me after missing those first two. All right, I'm gonna say two more tries before we go and uh, level up. I have an idea. I wanna check something out really quickly, so. Okay, it still works, all right. Charge, an attack. I'll tell you what I tested in just a moment. Goody. So what I tested is I had been using this flask of wondrous physics thinking that it was giving me like all this amazing 
like attributes or something I was trying to increase my charge attacks and whatever else uh, and also I think the um, my stamina regeneration which that is a very apparent but at this, if I get the parries I can still actually stun him like crazy I can chain stun him so with or without the flask which is really good to know all right second to last try before I go level up Not gonna pay that one, yep, that's that's not gonna happen, yep. I panic rolled after the second attack. When I get hit twice, that's usually when I start panicking. The first time I'm like, eh, it's fine. Second time, I don't like it. We're going for a jumping attack right here. Charged R2. Circle around. Charged R2. Dodge. Dodge, please. Okay, we're not. Dead. I'm dead. Poorly timed heals and everything. I panicked. We'll do one more because I hate ending on a bad note. So before we... uh head off to the Weeping Peninsula so we can try my leveling strategy I am going to give it one more attempt those last few were really bad attempts I missed my charged attack there, that's okay got the, uh, the parry there you go we got the other parry missed that first opportunity though we got that parry as well we should get stunned bro sif all i'm saying we should be getting stunned and we'll go do our jump attack back away oh i couldn't back away i pressed circle but wasn't able to dodge away. Uh, let's see here. We'll go to the last side of the grace. That way we can go ahead and teleport back to the Weeping Peninsula. It's probably going to be the easiest area to take down some of those walking mausoleums. Hmm. What would be the best path? Probably this right here. And then I need to go all the way to the west. Uh, should be right around here, so I need to go west. <clears throat> Alright, off we go. So we're going to go northwest here just for a moment so that we can head over to this thing called a walking mausoleum. This will allow us to duplicate remembrances. Remembrances are essentially boss souls, if you will. And you can duplicate them and use them to acquire about 20,000 runes, which at this level, at this point in time in the game, is going to be a massive increase to my level. I'm being chased by dogs, so I kind of don't know. I can't open up my map, so I am going to go this way, though, and see if I can just jump over this demi-human. Goodbye. And cross over into that field. I'm fairly certain it'll be on the other side of this. There should be some uh, guardians as well. There's going to be... Uh, an Erd Tree avatar that we're gonna bypass for now. Unless there's some very special, like, physic, you know, or crack tears they can drop, I probably won't be fighting too many of them. Not that they're hard, but it's just, there's really no need. Now, where am I now? I'm gonna go visit this church and grab the sacred tear here, because why not? It'll increase the efficiency of our flask so we can heal more every use. Very nice.
perfect. Okay, now we can get out of here. Where is this? Wow, it's way the hell over there. So now it's like southwest. Okay. Lovely. So now we gotta go southwest. Let me grab this. I don't know what this is. Just runes. Blood grease. Gilded iron shield. That's right. I do remember. That's heavy, though. It is heavy. Okay, you see that four-legged thing over there? It looks like a, a, a crooked building, like a Leaning Tower of Pisa-looking structure. That is actually a walking mausoleum. It is a living creature. And we are going to take it down. This will be incredibly important because it will allow us to... Um, Duplicate our remembrances. Which is fancy for... Duplicate or double the amount of souls we can get. No! These guys. I forgot what... Yeah, I'm not being strategic at all in that fight. Oh my gosh. I'm just kind of tanking through all that. Sir. Two jumping attacks. That was nasty. Okay. I have no clue what's in here. I just figured since I'm in the tombs, we're tomb. Why not check it out? Probably a wet blade of some sort or a talisman, I'm sure. A winged scythe. Very nice. I forgot about that. That's a great weapon for faith and dexterity users. I'm actually using it on one of my other uh, alternate files. Oh my gosh. A rat. I didn't realize that was a rat tail. That's disgusting. Alright, so now we can go over here. This is the Ever Jail, which we will deal with at some point. That would give us uh, Radigan's Scar Seal, which we don't actually need. We have the Sore Seal, which is the, I would say, the superior version of it. That looks like another church, and it very well could be. Yep, fourth church of America, which means we get another sacred tier. Which means we can further increase our flasks, strength, and efficiency even more. There you go. So now we're going to be heading down towards this next area, which is just right over here. The actual walking mausoleum itself. There should be a merchant here that would typically be one where you could purchase a lantern and things like that. But I don't advise it. There's closer and much more easy to access merchants that are nearby. Um, so I would suggest going to Lyurnia of the Lakes, actually, if you're looking for a lantern. Alright, so let's hope that we don't die here. We're going to try and take out these two formations right here, the crystal skull formations. Oh, okay. There you go. Watch that we don't get stomped on, because it will kill us. He always adjusts after taking a big step, so always be mindful of that. Okay, that looks like all the formations are uh, are removed from that foot. We're gonna do the same for this foot over here. Come on, controller. As you can see, I'm really fighting to turn right. My controller is jacked up. Let's just imagine doing all this precision and stuff with like the parries and all that with a analog stick that doesn't quite work. trick. Look at that. I'm glitching like crazy just because my stick is forcing me to go left. Even though I'm trying to turn right. So all of the mausoleum knights, which were the knights that had this glowing light to them, they're no longer an issue. They've now despawned. So now we can go in here and uh, duplicate a remembrance and we'll use it for leveling purposes doesn't truly matter which one so now I should have two if I go to my inventory 
two remembrances of the grafted, which is great. So that means, let me see, let me see. We can return to the fourth church of America and level up a few times. I think strength and vigor are going to be the biggest ones. So funnily, I didn't even use the item, so whoops. All right, so we're going to go down here. But, yo, I don't need this either. I need to just actually use it. It's hurting my health, so silly thing. Okay, definitely don't need that. That was an item that I picked up from Fia. It actually removes 5% of your health, and I do not need anything hurting my health at this point. Very nice. 20,000 runes richer. Let's go ahead and level up. Let's think this through here. Okay, so strength is at 26. Vigor. I need to bump up my vigor. And then I can go back to the table of lost grace or the round table hold. And then I can purchase a handful more of these um, stones. These stones will allow us to at least uh, continue leveling up our torch as much as possible. Now I don't know how much it's going to cost for me to boost the strength or increase the strength of my armament, but let's find out. I grabbed six, so that should be a good chunk. Well, I took you for that matter. It's Not dead you're yet. Upset. Not dead yet. So smithing stone six, that'll bump us up to twelve. Okay. Now I need smithing stone fives, which I can't get until I reach the ancient tower of Zamor. Okay, the ancient ruins of Zamor, more specifically. So I'm doing 182 fire damage plus the one. Okay, so 282, it's like 310 damage. We got C scaling and strength still. Okay. That's still the way to go for now, I think, anyways. Alrighty. Say we change the way we look so we can feel good about ourselves. Eyebrows. I don't like the red eyebrows. I'm not like it. Much better. Okay. Do we want a different hairstyle? We're going to be seeing it from the back pretty much. Let's see. Hmm. You are a strange one. I don't mind the matted, like, crazy looking look. Let's go with that again, shall we? Finished cosmetics. There you go. Perfect. Is that what we like? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I like it. I don't like the way the back looks, actually. Let's change it again. Not feeling it. Go anime here. Man pony. That's what I got right now. Let's try that. 
Okay, so now what we can do is we've uh, leveled a few times. I'm trying to see if there's another um, another area where there are walking mausoleums. There's a handful over here. <clears throat> I thought there was a ton over in... There's one in Weeping Peninsula, none in Limgrave. There aren't any that I recall in Kaled. And here, I remember there being one that I don't remember how to get access to. I, I've seen it, but I don't know how to jump on its back. Uh, there's an area where there are like three of them, but I don't remember where that was at. That might be in the underground. That might be in Siofra, but I don't remember if it was in Siofra Aqueduct or what. Uh, let me see. Because I was thinking I could duplicate even more runes, but I don't know. I don't remember them being here, though. I am so... Uh, that's so funny to me. I remember seeing, like, three... It's got to be in the CO for area, then, because I, I honestly don't remember them being this far away. That's fine. Let's go ahead and go back. Let's give it another shot. We leveled up a bit. Got a few more runes. No remembrances. We changed our hair, so now we feel better. Just kidding. Alright, so if we come here at night, actually, in this area, just up ahead, a little bit more, I guess, northeast, uh, you'll actually face off with a death right bird. And a death right bird uh, is pretty much guaranteed to drop you something. It's a boss that only appears at nighttime. Uh, it's a stronger variant of the death bird, or the. See, there's a death right bird and a death bird. The death right birds do have a lot more health and they're much more powerful than their death bird variants. But they are guaranteed to drop items and you have to encounter them at nighttime. And they usually have pretty unique items, uh, whether it be shields, talismans, or other things. They're really neat. Don't do it. They're still figuring it out. That's fine. We'll pick up some Altus Bloom, why not? Yeah, we've had to take a step away a few times just to figure out how to best deal with this. Like, I wanted to make sure that I was at least giving myself a fair chance. Oh, my back. Thank you, sir, for that. Excellent start already. <laughs> Charge. Going for a jumping attack. Missed. Back away. Ooh, man, my controller. I I've dropped it so many times as well that... When I press circle, it doesn't necessarily give me the right input sometimes, and that is scary. Especially in this fight. I had a lot of issues with it in my stream. But fortunately, um, it works most of the time. What happens more often than not is not just the missed inputs, but the stored inputs. Where like I will have press circle, and then I'll roll like maybe a few seconds later, and that is terrifying. But the worst thing, the biggest issue I have with this one is the fact that it continues to force me to go left. So it's often, I'm often fight. So if I turn to the right, it'll stop me. Yeah, like that. <laughs> it stops me there. Super annoying. But no worries. We've adjusted. We'll have to get a new one. There you go. Jumping attack in here. Charge R2. Jumping attack. Got a little greedy there, it's okay. Dodge away. Wait for some fireballs to the face. I was too far away to dodge that or to parry that. Gotta get in a little bit closer if I want to parry. Charge. Jump. I 
missed both of those opportunities. That's okay. Dodge. Oops, I didn't dodge that. We'll dodge this. I'm going to get a risky heal in. There you go. Charge. Jump. Splash got us. He actually held onto that a little bit, so it's a slow strike. And I parried much too early and uh, got punished for it. What, are you, what is inside of you, horse? <sighs> Whoops. There I am. Alright, let's try that again. I like the charged R2s a lot better than jumping attacks, to be honest. Right here, anyways. That's 500 damage off the, off the bat, yeah. Barely got that. He's fighting us at a really strange angle there. There you go. Charged R2. Jumping R2. Back away. Oof. There's another one of those missed inputs. That's okay, though. <laughs> I pretty much have to slam my buttons. Like, L2 I have to slam. Circle. The ones that work excellent are X and square. But I don't use square a lot in this game, unfortunately. Unless I'm using consumables. Which I don't often use. Let's go again. That was scary. He's doing this thing again. Point blank range shooting his fireballs. Don't like that at all. We're gonna get a charged R2 and then a jumping attack here. Another charged R2. A little bit too late for me. There you go. Charged R2. Hopefully get the stun. There you go. Jumping attack. Every time, I'm not sure what's happening. I need to look back at the playback because that's the same exact thing that happened last time. I am mashing circle, but I think maybe I'm getting hit um, or staggered. And maybe that's what's preventing me from 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 uh, actually rolling because I am mashing circle and before that second hit so I'm like what is happening there maybe it's not an input issue maybe it's just uh, I'm getting staggered or something I don't know I didn't get to I wasn't watching my character I was watching the draconic tree sentinel barely got that one off but that's fine there you go I got that two in a row love it we're going to go ahead and get this R2 right here. Jumping attack. Another perfect time parry. Very nice. Jumping attack. Another parry. Charged R2. Jumping attack. Parry. Charged R2. Jumping attack. Charged R2. Jumping attack. Charge R2. Parry. Charge R2. I'm gonna sprint away here. Watch for the fireball. Watch for the fireballs. Charge R2. Jumping attack. Okay. Dodge this. Charged R2. Jumping attack. I'm going to jump into that one next time if I'm too close. Charged R2. Jumping attack. Watch for the fireball. Ch 
charge, charge two. Jumping attack. Parry. Charge R2. Jumping attack. Sprint away. Watch for the fireball. Charge R2. Jumping attack. Flask up. Dodge the fireball. Parry. Charge R2. Jumping attack. Watch for the fireball. That was terrifying, by the way. Very nice. Blast up again. Charge guard two. And that, my friends, is the Draconic Tree Sentinel Torch Only. You're welcome. Woo! That took us a bit, but we got it. We got it, we got it. That was not easy, guys, but I am super happy that we were able to complete that. We got the Dragon Cr Great Claw and the Dragon Claw Shield for our efforts there. And 50,000 runes as well. What an accomplishment, guys. I am super excited about that. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. We did it with a torch, guys. Woo! I feel good. I feel real good. <laughs> Remember that one? <laughs> I feel good. I feel real good. NFL Blitz. GG's. Thank you, baby. Whew, that was tough. I'm so glad we got... Now I can beat the game. The game can now be beaten. That was the one that was holding me up. But no longer. Okay, so I say... Let's see. Mm -hmm. I like that. We'll go with that. I will need to further increase the strength of my... Um, the attribute strength you know so that way I can get a little bit more damage um, but now we can actually switch it up a little bit I don't need the charge attack talisman anymore that was just incredibly important for that particular fight I can switch it back over to like maybe the jumping attacks which are really good and this one so whoo we did it guys that was insane that was insanely difficult okay but there's nothing you can't do if you just don't give up. Alright, so now what the hell do I do? I haven't played this part but once, so I need to remember exactly where to go next. So let's figure it out. Let's figure it out together, shan't we? Uh, yes, yes. Let's go down the lift. Down the lift we go. See, I think changing my hairstyle helped me out a bit as well. I could get the hair out of my eyes. I could see it. I can visualize my enemy. Oh, we got some goodies over here. Magic grease. I don't know if I can apply grease to a torch. I really am curious to try that out, and I will at some point. At some point in the future. Okay, so now let me just figure out the path here. I know the shortcut through Stormvale because I kind of figured that out. I also know the path through uh, the Ray Lucaria Academy. But I do not know the fast path, so to speak. I haven't created one yet for myself. But I think I have a really good idea of where to go. Um, especially because I know I need to bypass this Erd Tree avatar that's going to be right in the mix. Melina will want to talk with us here. I think I'm going to go for, if possible, the frenzied route here because we are using flames as our primary method of damage dealing. So it'd be really cool to be able to... Um... Ooh, you know, I never unlocked that door in my other file. But frenzied flame ending would seem appropriate. Girl, don't, don't do it. All right, so you're dead. I'm going to bypass all these guys. There's some golden seeds or something nearby. They can probably hurt me really bad. So 
I am not going to let the bubbles fool us. The damage they can deal is going to be massive. We're going to be able to get some really high level runes here, which is fantastic. I'm kind of just taking my way. I know kind of where to go now. I remember this area. Come here. Come here, you little bastard. Looks like a little dumpling. No. Okay. There's a big boy over there. Uh, okay, so there's a... Yep, this dude over here. I'm going to drop down here instead. Don't have to worry about that. Now, there's an area you can go up to up here. I remember there being a page uh, warrior or something like that. Yes. You. It was you, wasn't it? Sir, don't stab me anymore. Die. Oh, that hurt. He's using charge attacks on me. You are not nice. Okay. Good gosh. Smithing Stone 4. I think we've graduated to Smithing Stone 5s now, but I don't mind getting the lower uh, level Smithing Stones or bolstering materials because I would like to at least be able to increase the strength of some of my other weapons. My, some of my other torches, I should say. Okay, so um, what the heck was in here? Just a stone? There, there has to have been something more than that. A stone, yes. Because that simply just takes me to the other part of this area. It did nothing for me. But why? Now I'm back here again. Okay. Sir. Don't do it. I can drop down here. That's usually the path I go. But I'm curious. Let's see what's around here. If I could defeat the... Oh, gosh. You again. Your brother. You have a lot of poise for having just a little t-shirt on. Don't. Ouch. Whoo! He's good. He's real good. Yeah, and mind you, we're fighting these guys with a torch, and they are like master swordsmen. It's super annoying. <laughs> uh, let's take this guy out. Why not? He does not respawn, and he seems to be very weak to fire, apparently. I like that. Golden Rune 7. Ah, see, so you're blocking me from my fortune. We'll drop down. There's going to be gargoyles trying to establish every step of the way, which is lovely. Uh, we're going to bypass all these guys for the most part. There are seedbed curses and things like that that I could pick up. Yes, yes, I know. But it's not going to be useful for this run. The only thing that's going to be useful is if I obtain more runes um, and tag all the sites of grace possible. So there will be an Erdtree avatar that's going to spawn or summon if I come in through there. There should be a side of grace around here somewhere. I want to say it's down into the right, but I'm still going to go to the left because there's something that's telling me I'm wrong. I think it's over there, though. There should be a crucible knight, which I probably will not face off with right now. Tisk tisk. Where the hell is this? This might be it. This might be actually the intended path here. Oh my gosh. Um, that scared me. There are going to be annoying creatures everywhere. I'm going to be running past most of these guys. There's truly no need to engage with all of them. They're too powerful, one, and then two. There's just no need. Thank you for stabbing me through the wall. Thank you for reminding me of the physics. I could go over there. There's a tree spirit. And there's something else. I don't quite remember what. These guys are trolls. i got to go up quickly. They nearly destroyed me last time. Oh, yes. I love the lightning pots to the face. Don't do it. Funny thing is, I actually handled this way better, I guess because I knew there were enemies here, than previously. Like, the first time I came through, I almost got killed. And I was very appropriately leveled for this area. But I didn't have any poise, just like I don't have any poise now. Okay, clarifying bolluses. Yes, yes. Uh, that door does open. That's right. I almost missed this last time, too. 
I don't know what it is. Another stone sword key. Not that we're going to be needing too many of those, but... I am not averse to getting some, some secrets. Let me go ahead and kill this guy real quick. I don't put your hand down. Put put it down. Don't try and grab me. Okay. Got a mushroom for that. I don't know what's up here. Is this like a higher yeah, a higher elevation? I don't remember. I think this takes us back to the area with the perfumers. There should be like an armor or something on the other side of this, if I recall correctly. No. Wrong. Wrong again. There is something over here. A side of grace. Yes, yes. I need to get to the West Capital Ramparts. This is definitely good. I'm glad we tagged this. Because I can level up and I have 18,000 runes just from defeating these low-level enemies. Melina is going to communicate with us and tell us that she wants us to take us to the dust. take her to the I base of the Erd Tree. I shall leave Torrent. I wish you luck. You have fall. I have no. Thank you, Melina. Now, um, before I do anything critical that changes the landscape, but there are a few things I want to do. Now, one thing just from my own uh, edification here, because I actually did not get. I got 99% of the items in my first playthrough of the game, which took me 150 hours, mind you. But I was able to realize that I didn't get this legendary weapon, which was the last legendary weapon I needed. Plus, I also accidentally killed Patches. Patches is a jerk that appears in every single FromSoft game, and I thought he was going to be bad, so I just killed him. Lo and behold, if you don't kill him, he actually has a quest line. So I was like, seriously? Such is life. Okay, so now we can go ahead and move onward. We need about two more thousand runes so that we can level up again. Now, this is where I have to think through this. I am not going to destroy this area just yet, but I do need to think through this. This is the Avenue Balcony East Capital Ramp. I need to get to the West Capital Rampart, which should be up here. Um, just thinking through this, though, because the Erdtree Avatar will spawn. Trying to think if there's anything else. There, there were a handful of... Really cool, unique items like armors and stuff like that, which I will end up getting. I'm going to try and get all that stuff. Because um, I don't really, I don't necessarily want to run like this the entire playthrough. Because that's literally all I have. All I have is the warrior set. But it's fine. I mean, but I'd prefer to have some cool looking armor. If possible. Alright, we're going to go ahead and make a, a beeline, as they say. I think I bypassed it, which is great. Okay, fine. That'll work for me. This is a very strong enemy up here, so let's go ahead and let him charge up. And we're going to go through this area right here. Use the iframes. Okay, there aren't iframes on this door because you can't open the door. Good. Dodge. Dodge. So that means that it is over here. Now the Earth Tree Avatar is going to spawn right in our faces. Or not. Okay, good. It didn't. It would have been right there, too. Okay, perfect. So let's go down here. These guys are jerks. We're going to have to definitely be careful as we're navigating this area. And now, if we can go up the dragon, we're going to be in good shape. Excellent. Now, I don't actually know where the bolt of Grand Sax is. That was the very last legendary weapon we were needing. Dodge, baby. Dodge. Okay. Woo Dodge. Okay. Yep. Oh, you missed. You missed. Oh my god. He's pissed. He is so pissed. There's some gravel stone that I'm passing by. I'm sorry, but I have to. I don't want to die. I can grab this up on the way here, though. These, these three gravel stones right here. I'm going to come up this dragon uh, limb over here and jump down. This is... Not a secret path, but definitely a path that's very easily missed. Um, what I'm looking for, though, is there's going to be a bolt or a giant spear that's sticking out of this building. And I need to find it because that's where the actual bolt of Grand Sax is. That's the legendary weapon that I'm needing for my other file. Now, if I can magically find a way... Oh, gosh. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yep, shield bash to the face. I love it. Oh, 
Oh, yep. I love that, dude. Mm-hmm. Sir, just calm down with your crazy antics. Dodge. Okay. I can kill you. And I will. If you let me. Oh, gosh. These enemies are very tough, just FYI. But I kind of know their attack patterns, their counters as well. And this jump attack thing is new to me. It's a new phenomenon, but I'm using it. We got some gravel stone, very nice. Okay, so let's see. Is there a bolt around here? I'm looking for a... Oh, this spear. This... Oh! It's that spear. This is the spear I need to get onto. This giant thing here is the spear. Okay, well, how the hell? We'll figure it out. We will figure that out, won't we? I remembered about you, but almost, almost a moment too late. Golden Rune 11. We're going to have all kinds of runes for leveling purposes and all that. We'll tag this side of grace, and I am going to go for that bolt. If I can find a way to somehow transfer this weapon to myself, I will do it. Uh, I think those little crazy bubble ladies will be over here. I hear them. There should be an armor or something down here. Something unique. A cane sword, that's right. Don't do it, just die. It's okay. Three, four... We're doing a lot of damage considering that we have a torch in our hands. So we have optimized this build pretty well, actually. There's a handful of things I'd like to grab in here as well just because it's a fun area. Oh my gosh, so we'll do that too. Had a dodge roll that, otherwise we would have taken some heavy damage there. We'll go back up. Let's see, where is that bolt? I need to not lose track of it. That thing is massive. I certainly don't see an item on there, but there must be. Oh, buddy. We got this guy over here. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, decisions, decisions. I need to run past him pretty quickly and see if I can find a save point up there on the trees. Okay. Here goes, here goes, here goes. Don't act. Oh, actually. There are some golden tree seeds there I could grab. But why do that if I can just do this safely instead? Oh. My friend. He killed me in one shot. That's right. He's got the special version of the crossbow that can fire, I think, three bolts at once. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. Let me see if I can fix this a little bit. There you go. It's me. Okay. Well, that sucked. Uh, let's go this way. I'll run past this genius. Yeah, I am going to kill that. I want my runes back. I could just completely bypass him. That's not really my style. Stay asleep. Ow. Sir! Okay, that hurt. Ooh, jumping's good. And we got the Perfumer's Bolt. I don't know what's... Okay, that's up there. Okay. Yeah, I really don't want to fight that guy. They're incredibly strong. I mean, so strong that it's like it feels broken. Uh, okay. There should be some dogs around here. Puppy number one. Oh god, please don't kill me. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, I don't have my <laughs> my shield anymore. I was like, what's going on? 
That's why I didn't have my shield equipped. So if we come up in here, we'd get to the round table hold, a very cool area with some excellent looking armor. I forgot. I could grab some of that armor too. Let's do that. We're just taking our time here, man. This is not a speed run, but I would love to be the world's first to beat the game with a torch. Oh, a hammer, yeah. Sanctified wet blade and the hammer. I remember this now. This was Fia's old area. There's so many goodies in this area. By my soul. Heroes rune one. We have all kinds of abilities here to uh, now um, pretty much runes on hand that we can use to level and things like that. Did I come through here? I'm lost. Yes, okay. Just making sure. This is where, spoilers, Fia would be over D's dead body. Uh, we went to the left. We'll go back to this side at the very end. Let's first continuing. This is the old round table. But I'm assuming one of the first round tables. Maybe it is the first round table. We're going to open this. This is where Enya would be with the two fingers. I do believe. I think we see a corpse of two fingers here, maybe. No, we do not. But this is where we get the coded sword, which is a very unique sword. <clears throat> I'll actually equip it just so you guys can see it. It's not what I meant. Yes. Look at that. It's actually runes written in it. So this sword is very nice. It's sp specifically for faith builds, but it's a very beautiful sword. Uh, has the same moveset as a straight sword, I believe. And it does require about 20 faith, so it's not nearly as difficult to wield as the Cypher Panta. Um, but it has B scaling as well, so it's an excellent faith-based weapon. One that I'm definitely going to use on my faith-based file. There is an item up here on the ledge before we drop down. Uh, there's also an invasion you can participate in if you're doing the Volcano Manor questline, which I plan to do at some point. I just want to make sure I don't bypass anything that is... Uh, pretty much unable to obtain after a certain event that's going to occur later on. So I want to make sure that I do all that stuff beforehand. And I'm just grabbing a few things here because there's just some cool items here. I should be able to grab some armor as well. And that's what I'm looking for. Here's a seed bed curse. That's not bad. That is actually, ironically, where the dung eater would be normally. So what we're going to do is we're going to circle back and then we're going to drop down into that area. Not where the um, the balcony is, but actually on this side just to make sure we don't skip anything. I think it all circles around and connects. Oops. I need to go to the right. A sharp right. I will actually drop down here. Uh oh. <clears throat> there you go. Now I will drop down. And it should open up, but we're going to go to this pathway first. This is typically where you could use some stone sword keys to obtain some special items. I, mean, I, I love that there's just items just for the taking here. Two fingers prayer book, very nice. The only two enemies like in this entire area. No Estus soup. What a missed opportunity. It would have been so nice to have that, right? And it just would have been really confusing. Like, why is there Estus in this game? Okay, now we can go back. And we'll make a sharp left right here. This is where the invasion would occur for the Raging Wolf. But we're not going to be facing off with him. Instead, we're going to be dealing with uh, the Mad Tongue Albert. And now we have his set. Which looks amazing, by the way. And I want to see what kind of damage this will do to my uh, equipment loadout. This actually weighs less. Look at that. Wow, everything that he has weighs less. This is beautiful. That is great. And watch, I wonder if we could even wear the hat. We could literally rock the entire set. That is awesome. I'm wearing this. 
I love how the eyes are covered too. Whoo! That's good. Really good. We got Smithing Stone 5, which we do need these stones to level up our weapon now. And did I just come through here already and just forget that item? I may have. I did not, but there is a side of grace that we can go ahead and tag. So that way when we do the Volcano Manor quests, we'll be set. We're going to tag that painting. It's important for us to do that now. Uh, yeah, that armor looks great, doesn't it? I think it looks so cool. We're going to bump up our strength to 30. Um, I love that this set is lighter. That is so fun. And it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I, I do like that I'm wearing a full set of something. And I love the, you know, the cape and all that. I didn't get to wear this set last time because my previous playthrough has an amazing looking style. So I just kept with it and it just looks so good. But instead, for this one, this is going to be my crazy guy, my torch guy. So because we're going to have to end up at some point um, progressing through a little bit further in the game, I need to make sure that I first clear everything out that I can before... Um, eliminating some possibilities and closing off some pathways because that's going to be a huge problem. I want to be able to get everything possible that I can anyways. So the side of grace was just right over there. Um, I can go up here and fall down this pathway and we'll fight the next boss. Um, I can't progress the storylines for a handful of these people, which is fine. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think. There's uh, talismans and stuff like that up there with the guardians. I think the best thing to do is to go up. And I'm going to bypass these enemies here. The ones with the roses are a little bit more lively. So those are the ones we need to watch out for. But the ones that don't have roses are just going to be chilling unless you attack them. So we're going to circle around this way. This boss is going to be a real, real pain. But it's okay. It's going to be fine. Alright, so this is going to be the first boss encounter right here. Okay, oh gosh. It's already jumping into this, isn't it? Lovely. Oh, okay. Wasn't ready for that. You again with your fracking endless attacks. Jump. Oh! Okay. We're going to have to dodge all of these. Get hit there, it's okay. Yep, I should circle around that, that's okay. I can and will beat you. That's okay, I can definitely beat this guy. I just wish that I had a closer save point, though, that's my only problem. He's not an uh, incredibly tough boss. I, you know, the reason why I'm saying that is because I've actually gotten really close to. Well, in my previous playthrough, with a very similar type of like short-range weapon, I completely destroyed him after practicing enough. So I can defeat him. Where's the Stake of America around here? Where's the Stake? It's around here somewhere. I'm, I'm happy about it. because Oh, there it is, right there. So that's my save point. Lovely. All right, let's beat this guy. I can do it. I should have buffed before entering this door. That's okay. Can I parry him, I wonder? I don't know if I can. Ooh, that's close. Okay. Couldn't see anything there because all the debris. That's fine. Dodge. 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 Okay, I died there. That's fine. We did about the same amount of damage we did last time. The funny thing is, this is not a matter of, uh, oh, I don't have enough heals or anything. This is literally just going to be, can I dodge his attacks enough? So I just got to get back in that rhythm because it's about three to six dodges every time before I get in one to two hits. So it's going to be pretty bad. It's going to be one of those fights. It's going to be a war of attrition. But just imagine, at least he doesn't have a phase two. I am so greedy with these hits. Oh, I timed that so poorly. Sir. Finally timed that one right, and then I got hit right in the face.
Sir. Oh, gosh. Okay. Dodge. Too early. I'm gonna flask up there instead of trying to deal damage. Oh yeah, got him at 50% health already, I like that. Got greedy there. Dodge, I'm gonna heal. Lovely. Okay. I gotta get him away from this corner. That actually makes it very difficult for me to dodge any of his attacks. Very nice. That was a different variant of his attack. Because he's angry at me. Nice. We almost got. We're gonna kill his ass. He's got at about 15%, 20% right there. He's dead. Yeah, he's going down. And I'm gonna do it better. I'm not gonna get hit nearly as much this time either. The time I beat him, I'm not gonna get hit nearly as much. I can tell because I'm getting his dodges down. I beat Millennia last night, so I can essentially, at this point, my confidence level, I'm like, I can do this because it's just a matter of learning the patterns, anticipating the attacks, and I got it. All right, big boy. Ooh, I don't like you. Don't be in the corner. Don't be in the corner. Come out here. That is okay. I'm going to flask up until I get full health. There you go. That was ugly. You are changing up your attacks on this. Alright, here he goes. Now we start. We may begin now. That's the attack I need to get you some dodging. Ah, okay, okay. So this okay, I got that. So pretty much I need to stay way closer to him. Um, I just couldn't really get a good rhythm. I was trying to bait him out of the corner. So if he's, in, I don't mind being up close and personal, but if I'm in the corner, I can't roll behind him, and so that's gonna allow me to uh, basically force me to take unnecessary damage. I was trying to bait him towards the center, but by doing that, I was too far away, so he still was able to punish me. So I'm not gonna do that again. I'd much rather stay in close, force him to do the attacks that I'm much more confident, comfortable with. Like those. I don't need to attack that either. I need to wait for that one. That's the one I need to wait for. Okay, when he repositions, I cannot go in for the strike. I need to just wait. Okay. Another learning point. Yeah, we're definitely going to beat this guy. Though. Godfrey, you're going down. And then I'll take on Morgoth. Your son. Before I change the landscape, though, of this area, I do need to go back and do some other things to make sure that um, I don't skip some content. Because I want to do a, a, one of my endings that I'm, I have never seen before. I've only ever beat the game once. So. Nice delayed strike. Okay. Very nice. All those were delayed strikes. That was excellent. And in such close quarters like that, I, I typically will panic if it's a charged strike like that. I love that we're so close to the save point, and the PlayStation 5 load times are like non-existent, so you can just jump right back into the next attempt. I love it.
So we've been going for about two hours and 45 minutes. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the show. And I'm having a blast. More charge strikes. He's doing the thing again where he's like out. He's like in the corner. That's the attack I love. Do that, sir. Gotta punish these big strikes here. Very nice. Punish this as well. Dodge through that. Dodge. Dodge. Punish this attack. All those slow attacks are going to eat those up. Very nice. He kind of delayed that one. That terrified me. I'm going to dodge through that. Bro, that was a delayed strike again. Two of them. Two in a row. Got a nice little rhythm down. That's God for you guys. Torch only. Woo! That took us a fraction of the time, too. I am happy about that one. I almost did it hitless, but then I panicked. I almost did it hitless, and then I panicked. I saw that I hadn't taken any damage, and then I saw how much health he had, and I was looking at his health bar because I am so dumb, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can do it hitless. Boom, got hit right in the face. Because I got greedy and I did that one strike where after he repositioned after a foot stomp, I went in for a strike greedily. And so that was what cost me. I can't believe I did that. That's so silly. Hmm. Going for more strength. More strength. Then we'll go for more health. Okay, very nice. So now, I am so pleased with that, guys. We're just kicking ass here. After the Draconic Tree Sentinel, I knew the rest of the game was going to be cake. So I wasn't lying when I said I'd beat it. So there are going to be a few secrets around here we can get. Uh, I'm going to come up here real quick. I think I already tagged one. Oh, I need to go over here. I tagged one side of Grace already. Um, I don't know. It's, I'm actually very interested to know what boss fights am I going to invalidate or which quest lines am I going to invalidate by defeating certain bosses, you know? Really, the only one I care about is making sure that I defeat Radon at some point so I can get another, um, another torch. But aside from that, when it comes to, you know, not getting the torches or whatever. There is one thing that's important, and that's also just hopefully trying to help Hayeta through her quest line. I haven't beaten Leonine the Misbegotten yet either. 
which um, is a bit of a concern because I think Edgar needs to be defeated so that I can uh, progress his quest line and get the fingerprint grape or the third one of the, the third or fourth uh, Shibri grape. I don't recall which one it is. Uh, let, let's go down here real quick. I'll go grab the other secrets in just a moment, but I am looking to see if I can get on that spear. So I'm actually going to just drop down here. This is where a very pivotal moment occurs and you find out a, a crazy secret. <clears throat> that I will not spoil necessarily. But that message right there is incredibly important. Regression alone reveals secrets. That is so insane. Okay, so that there is what I'm trying to get to. Let's see if we can destroy these guys. They're going to be kind of tough. Ow. You are lazy with that, but you guys are crazy with your perfume. Oh! Got some damage negation bubbles, I see. I've used that technique before. They're not the best fighters, but they're excellent at slinging their perfume around, that's for sure. Holy grease. There should be a Crucible Knight up around here somewhere. We've got some uh, invisible tear. Oh gosh, I don't want to engage with this guy though. Yeah, I'm not going to. Okay, so uh, how do I get down here? Balls. Do I kind of drop down here? Oh gosh. I know you see me. Okay, we're not dead. This is the item that I missed in my first playthrough, and I am so upset that I missed this. This beautiful weapon right here. The Bolt of Grand Sacks. I'm going to read the item description because I'm just so... Ah, I want it so bad. But the bad thing is I want it on my other file. If there's a way to somehow um, drop it for myself, I would do it. Or if I could give it to someone that I trust and then they drop it for me in my file, that'd be the best. Let's see here. Um, how do I get to my weapons? Melee armaments. This requires 40 dexterity and 20 strength. A spear whittled from the weapon wielded by Grand Sax, one of the legendary armaments. A great ancient dragon, Grand Sax, once rained calamity upon the royal capital, the only time in historical record that Lanedale's walls have fallen. This marked the dawn of the war against the ancient dragons. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Well, now we have the legendary weapon, at least on this file, right? Um, that's a stone sword key just right down there. If we go... Oh, you know what? One thing I didn't ever do is in my other file, when I came down here, I, I didn't think I actually stopped, and I didn't lower that ladder. There should be a ladder over here that I can actually knock down that I didn't know about. In my first playthrough, I knocked. I just saw the ladder, thinking, "Oh, I can climb down," but you have to actually kick it down. Yeah. Here, inside of this building, there's actually going to be a, a side of grace, I believe, as well as some really cool armor, especially if you're looking to do something really weird. Lionel's set and the deathbed dress, very nice. Fia actually saw Lionel as a father figure. And she was, and he was one of her champions. Let's go over here real quick and see if we can take out this thing. I think it drops a mask. I'm gonna just confirm. I die. I almost had a kill too. I don't know. Was there a side of grace in there? Or did I just completely bypass? I wanted to see what. Uh, I beat him last time, and, I, and he actually dropped either his mask or something. One of the pieces of the Omen Killer sets. Doesn't much matter because we're not gonna go for that. But if we're right here, I'm definitely gonna defeat him. Good. There is a side of grace there. You 
and your fire. Once he comes over, he'll be dead. Just a matter of time. We got him. All right, that should be a guaranteed drop. Indeed it is. The Omen Smirk Mask. Nice. I just wanted to make sure. Very cool. All right, so there's all kinds of secrets here. This is the way to the Shunning Grounds and all that. Very, very nice. Okay, so now uh, we can go back to the Erd Tree Sanctuary. We'll go and get a little secret item over there. And then I'll show you guys the next boss we have to fight. I, this one's going to be very tough. <laughs> I might have to use a, I don't know, a different type of strategy here. Probably a combination of parries and things like that. I don't know. He's going to be incredibly difficult. Morgot the Omen King. He'll probably be my next big stop before the um, I beat the game. Because after Morgot, we can defeat the Fire Giant, I'm confident. Um, I don't remember who's after that, to be honest. So that's the queen's bedchamber over there. We can drop down here though, and then there's a broken window that we can actually bust up inside. There are a few items around the way too that we can grab before we grab the item that's a specific quest item that is unique to uh, our little friend Corin, of course. Go ahead and kick that ladder, why not? We got some celestial dew, that way in the event we somehow piss off uh, an NPC, we should be able to restart their quest. Very good, we got the Golden Order Principia, which is fantastic. Now, all we need to do is head over to the Queen's Bed Chambers. I do believe there'll be a Black Knife Assassin over here, uh, which I'm sure I could pass, but I don't know. Let's try and fight her for now. I see you, but do you see me? All right, here it goes. Let's prepare for the worst here. Not bad damage. You are not as strong as Electo, that's for sure. Oh, that one hurt a little bit, though. For being so small, you have a huge windup on some of these attacks. Grab attack. Go ahead and punish with a jumping attack. I'm gonna heal up. Hey, we got this. Grab attempt, stab in the back, and dead. Very nice. Black Knife Assassin down. Got some additional runes for that as well. Oddly, she didn't drop anything. And I know it's a she because. The Black Knife Assassins were all female assassins from Numen, the same island or the same area, sorry, that uh, the Queen was from. Blessing of the Erd Tree. Now let's just take a sneak peek at the next boss we're going to be fighting. Uh, this one's going to be an absolute doozy, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Going to be fun, this one. How many do I need? 14,000? 13,979. So, if I can just use a handful more runes. That's a lot. Okay, that'll do the trick, though. Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and give this one a whirl. This is going to be very tough. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know if jumping attacks and charge attacks are going to be the thing. Um, hmm. I can actually use another uh, item here. I forgot about that. Guard counters, chain attacks, charge attacks. We could try that.
enhances charge attack. I just don't know if I'm going to get in a good charge attack on this guy. He's way too fast. Let's try this one for now. See what it does. If I can get in some charging attacks, fantastic. So we are using Mad Tongue Alvarez set here, and we are making our way up the stairs to face off with our little friend Morgoth. I am going to actually let this scene play out so you guys can see it. Also going to fix my camera angle just a bit. I've been manually adjusting it, so that's why it's all cra crazy looking. There you go. Ready? Graceless, tarnished. What is thy business with these thrones? Twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. General Radan, Praetor Rikard, Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors, all. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Felled thy king, Morgoth. Last of all kings. Okay. Any other words of encouragement? Oh, okay, that was scary. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I might need to parry this fool. And I've never parried him before. Let me try one more attempt. Um, without just without parrying just to kind of get a feel of the attacks and so i need to understand his attack pattern just a bit better the damage output isn't terrible so we're gonna go until 11 so we have eight minutes and then after that i have some things i need to take care of so we will be postponing this until tomorrow and then what we'll do is we'll probably play some ghost wire tokyo tonight so if you guys want to see that i'll be playing through that as well I do have to focus on some of my other channels and content, though, so I'm going to be put, uh, putting some work into those later on this afternoon as well. So be sure to stay tuned for all that stuff. Oh, God. That was a fast attack. Okay. You hit really hard, sir. <laughs> the true boss is the camera. Lovely. Boom. Flask up. I always commend my enemies, because that was not bad. He's beatable. But uh, we haven't gotten to phase two yet, which is where he truly opens up his attacks. Um, so it's going to be tough. We have six more minutes to give as many attempts as possible to take this guy out. 
I'm loving my Mad Tongue Albrix set here. It just looks, it just fitting, you know? Very fitting. I love it. Not dodge that very well at all. You move around a lot, sir. Dodge, thank you. Yep, I'll be staying away from that. Oh gosh, he's got some wicked range on that. We got him down to about 70% maybe. That's still a ton of health, so um, I'm not concerned about the damage output necessarily, just the windows of opportunity to deal damage. Now, I also have been unsuccessful in dealing any kind of successive combos here, so it's probably good to go ahead and remove this one and change it out for something that might be a little bit better. I don't have a ton of talismans at my disposal here and we have four minutes left of attempts to go ahead and see if we can take down Morgoth the Omen King um, we have taken down a handful of bosses here something I'm very proud of the Draconic Tree Sentinel and uh, Godfrey the first Elden Lord at least his shade so it's a good start We're so close to the end Flask up. Nice jumping attack, sir. This guy is a beast today. Okie dokie. That's enough of that. Done three daggers at once now, aren't you? I see what you're doing. That's gonna hit me. Yep, I couldn't. I didn't have time to recover from that. Very nice. Oh, I'm so dead if I get hit. Okay, but I didn't get hit. All right. The charge attacks are fantastic, actually. I love the jumping attacks, but uh, I just need to find the windows to deal those attacks. There you go. Charge. The jumping attack. Charge. Get stabbed in the air. Yep. Dodge. Dodge. That was a little too early. Oh! That backhand of yours is gonna get cut off. Okay, so I might need to try and parry him. We got two minutes. Let's try a parry attempt for the last two minutes. You and your gnarly looking tail. I think I should be. Everything was lighter than the warrior set, so I should be good when it comes to weight. One thing. Oh, whoa, wait, wait, wait. That's the wrong shield. I'm used to the, using the buckler. <laughs> I was a dexterity build in my last file, so uh, I have many files, but the first playthrough, so that's why um, I was so like, oh yeah, we can use that. No, we cannot. We may not use that. Let's go ahead and put away these weapons that I can't use.
Very nice. All right, let's go. This will be. We'll do two attempts with the torch. I mean, with the with the uh, two attempts with the parry shield here. gonna be tough I've never parried him before and I feel like it's gonna take multiple parries to actually stagger him but let's give it a whirl ball yep that was close oh okay that was close too balls okay that was hard um I tried to parry his right hand that didn't have that like ethereal weapon in it whenever he was swinging in the same direction with uh, when he was dual wielding, but I don't know. I, I feel like I got a partial parry there. Partial parry means you take some damage, not the full damage, which indicates you can usually parry the attack. So I think I picked up on a, on a partial parry there, which is great. I might actually change my Flask of Wondrous Physic as well to um, change up the benefits and maybe get some more health and maybe some damage negation. But we'll try this for now. We have plenty of flasks. It's not a matter of health, it's just a matter of when the window. I'm gonna go ahead and flask up so I don't die. I need as many opportunities to practice as possible before I die. Okay, this is the last one anyway. Didn't parry that. I should have dodged that. That's fine, though. I'm only worried about getting the parry timing down. Can this guy be parried? Ooh, you wind up so much. It's hard to figure out if I can ever parry you, though. You got a partial parry on that second strike there. Ooh, that was close. Okay, one of our last heals there. This is not about killing him, this is about seeing if I can parry him. Oh, lovely. Oh! Dead! I'm dead. Okay. Well, either way, excellent, excellent try. Um, what I'm gonna do is probably may or may not parry. I think I dealt a lot more damage not trying to parry him. I'd have to learn his windows and stuff too, which could be very possible. We had to do that for the Draconic Tree Sentinel, and even though it took us some time, it did work out. So we might consider doing that as well on this run, but we don't know yet. So for the time being, what we will be doing though is we are going to continue our torch only run tomorrow first thing 8 a.m. so if you guys want to be there for that be sure to join in tomorrow at 8 a.m. a central time um, also want to make sure I leave you guys with some of my socials as well so you guys can have this so um, if you guys want to check out the YouTube channels here are the links for those and if you want to join the discord the discord is something that allows you to participate in giveaways help me decide what if you know feedback wise what games you want to see challenge ideas etc but most importantly, I would say check out those YouTube channels because uh, that's exact, you know, that's the primary way that um, you know I'm getting being able to produce con content for you guys aside from the streaming. So streaming on Twitch and then all the edited, polished content is going to be up on YouTube. If you miss a, a stream for any reason, all of my VODs, which are videos on demand, you can see on Inhuman IRL. So all of my previous streams will be on there as well as guides for any of the games I'm playing. The Inhuman one has lore and features analyses and theories on my, all of your favorite games and mine, of course. And then Inhuman Universe has all of my non-gaming related content. So hopefully you guys uh, can check those out. Again, I am doing this full-time now on 100% full-time content creators. This is my primary means of income. So anything you guys can do to help support the channels, whether it be you know, supporting me live while I'm on Twitch or on YouTube is greatly appreciated. You guys are amazing. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Be sure to step outside because the weather is amazing. And until next time, it's the Inhuman One signing out.